I looked at the strong and dreamy male, welding his sword. Incog! I exclaimed. He smiles and instantly chops the sheriff's head off and screams, Dead is, is better! I got off the cold metal table and walked to Incog's side. Where are we and what's going on? I asked. We're on Spog Island. There's an island named after the planet? Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Me and Incog walked from the dark and gloomy cave, lit only by torches. Suddenly, Incog pulled out a gun and aimed it at my forehead, dropping the sword on the ground in the process. Ha! I fooled you. I'm o I'm always town, and for once, I'm freaking mafia. <laughs> Shocked, I stepped backwards and pulled out a gun of my own. Where'd you get that? I'm the vi vigilante biatch. I then pulled the trigger and shot a bullet right through or Incog's forehead. I heard a low ticking noise. Crap, I exclaimed. He's a bomb. I ran from the I ran from the cave screaming as a ball of flame trailed behind me. I ducked behind the rock till the explosion was over. How is that possible? I thought to myself. Bombs aren't part of the mafia. Just then, a fried piece of misshapen plastic came flying out of the cave and landed beside me. Oh, it's a water gun. I stood up and walked to a nearby river where there sat an old woman with long gray beard rowing a boat. Now who are you? I asked. You're right, she smiled with a teethless grin. Okay, I agreed without effort as I climbed into the boat. Here, have a drink. She passed me a bottle with chocolate milk and Baileys. Or just chocolate milk for you youngins. I took a swig. It has a sour taste. I looked into the glass and spied something disgusting. Something I'd never seen before.